Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. In my last video I did the drive shafts and the second servo for this Unimog and then I have to stop because the transmitter doesn't work. I talked to my dealer and I talked to Carson and both helped me very good. The thing is the slots for the batteries are very tight. You have to push every battery into the direction of the positive side. The springs of the negative side aren't strong enough and as I said every slot is a little bit too tight. But now... Ta -da! So, part of this video is to install the lights, the receiver, the extra functions and the sound module. And for this I had another con. This roof light here. There are no screws to put on the roof. And also these holes are a little bit big for me. So I grabbed my screw box, found a screw, a ball end as the counter counterpart and a washer. For the beacons and also for the roof light here, I have to remove these plugs. Therefore, there are little noses. You have to lift them, then you can put out the wires and you only need to drill a small hole on the body and can put the wires through it. The beacon itself will be glued on with shugu. Before I start, one thing I'd like to show you. This is a sound module truck. It only has one speaker. It's just plug and play. You put the thing into the power line. This is connected to the sound module. And the sound module is uh, put into the second channel with this Y cable. So without further ado, let's start with the build. So now the glue of the beacon is drying on the body. I do a little test. I already had put in the front servo, the motor, the sound module, the rear wheel servo and the horn.
Okay, so far I'm good. The main functions are running. So get ready for the second part of this video. Okay, overnight I finished the work. If someone knows an electrical tape which really glues, please let me know in the comments. So everything is in. Pair it up. I zip tied all the wires and put additional these tubes around here. The reason for that, I also lengthened the wires, but I also want to do this, so I can get access to the battery door and put the body aside and have not to fiddle around it with uh, two short wires. I had done the same for the battery door. I can either put just one clip off and uh, the battery in it, or remove both clips and put the battery door aside. Running and motor sound I had done in the first part of the video. Channel 1 is the steering, channel 2 the throttle, channel 3 is the rear wheel steering or the combination of the steering in the crawl mode. I showed you this before, so I'm just talking about the last four functions. First thing is channel 4, which are the lights here in the front and also in the back. Function or channel 5 are the roof lights. There are several modes, but I want this for having more light on the run. In addition, if you got not a switchable channel and just uh, the power line, you can switch it by this little button here. Function 6 are the beacons. Here are different modes too, but these have to be switched over the radio. And I said four channels, but the fourth or seventh channel I had already shown you. It's on. So the upgrades of my Unimog are done. The main parts were the metal drive shafts and the rear wheel steering or the different steering modes for which I need a new radio. About this radio, I do a separate video. And it's already time to get this car out and test how the mechanical upgrades work. In addition, there is sound, there are lights. So far, I'm happy with it. So please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Or if you have some questions, you're welcome too. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. This really helped me out. See you soon on RC Birds.